Hey guys, Alaska. No. <coughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am doing another video today, and this one's going to be a chatty video. Um, it's going to be a bit of a life update, kind of what's been going on since I last updated you guys, what's going on with my job and school, Alaska, Instagram, you know, just everything that we can possibly cover, we're going to cover. Um, and so, yeah, Alaska's here joining me today. We are going to see how that's going to go. Um, but let's just go ahead and jump right in. So I think last time we guys spoke, I was talking about losing my job. I was talking about losing the house that I was living in and just all of this crazy stuff that was going on. Um, I'm happy to say that I found a new job I think a month after I posted that video. Um, there was even a little vlog like my vlogmas. I attempted vlogmas that's why there's one vlogmas video on my channel but I was getting dressed to go to a job interview and that's the job that I have right now and I'm a marketing human relations manager at a chiropractic office and I absolutely Absolutely love what I do um, it's really all about building relationships with people so that's what I do I help to schedule staff I basically am the middleman that does like the behind the scenes things to make sure that we are at events and that we have presence and exposure I go to Chamber of Commerce meetings and basically just meet a ton of people and um, keep in good relationship with them and do a lot of marketing stuff so it is a lot of fun Sorry, I was accidentally stepping on her turtle. Do not do the nene Rosie. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm stepping on Rosie. Anyway, so I really enjoy what I do. I'm very thankful for the job. It came at a really, really good time. I actually applied to be the front desk person. I, I applied to be the receptionist. And um, they basically told me that they don't want me behind the desk. They wanted me to run their marketing department. And so that's what I've been doing ever since. And I really, really enjoy it. So that's my day job, but I have a ton of other side jobs um, just because rent in the Bay Area is crazy expensive. And and as a single mom trying to raise a child, you can't just have one job. You're doing several things. Um, so I picked up Arbonne. So I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne. And I'm still kind of getting used to it. Um, and that's just kind of how the business structure is. It's very different. It's a network marketing business. So instead of going in and out to an office, you kind of pick the hours that you work. But I love the products and I love what the company stands for. So I'm doing my best to stay consistent with that. Um, but it's been a lot, a lot of fun. So you guys can talk to me if you want to try their nutrition or skincare or makeup. Um, I've been having a lot of fun doing that. And then let's see what else. I'm still in school, so I'm finishing up. Even though it feels like I've been in there forever, I've been finishing up forever. But um, I'm working towards my AA right now, so I have a few more classes and then I get my AA. But immediately I want to go for my bachelor's, so I'm going to be applying to universities after this. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm really trying not to stay or not to get discouraged, even though I know a lot of my friends are graduating. I'm really, really happy for them. Um, but I just kind of have to be a little bit more patient with myself, even if it is taking a little bit longer. You know, I have a different life plan and schedule than anybody else. I did take a year off when I had Alaska, so that also fed into it a lot. But I feel like now, going back into school, I have a lot more drive. I have a lot more passion and determination to get my my degree and get out of there and um, really just work my way up and get a good job so that's kind of what I'm doing there with school um, I took notes on my phone <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help me out or not so there's been a lot going on um, these past few weeks my car that I've had since I was 18 is basically breaking down um, so I've been using it I've been I've had this car for several years and basically there's something wrong with it almost every other month so I I just decided that um, I'm gonna just turn it in I'm gonna get a new one and I am currently driving a rental car which is really really nice and I am going car shopping so I'm looking for either a Toyota or a Honda if you guys have any suggestions with buying used cars let me know um, but that's kind of what I'm doing right now I am on the hunt and within the last few What's wrong with it? You look cute. 
No, like that. Oh, God. Um, so Alaska, Alaska's doing good. She turned three on July 4th. We went to Disneyland. Did you have fun at Disneyland? Yeah. What did you do at Disneyland? I'm humming now. You hugged Minnie Mouse? Yeah, Minnie What now. else did you do? Did you go on rides? Yeah, puzzle rides. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. It was my first experience going to Disneyland as a mom. I did take her when she was a few months old, but she couldn't really do anything because she was so little. So now that she was three, she was actually able to go on some of the rides, and she was actually able to kind of identify the different characters, like Goofy and Mickey and Minnie. So she had a ton of fun, and we watched the parades. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. We saw Mickey Mouse, too. Uh, we watched the parades. We didn't stay long enough to be able to go to shows and be able to visit visit all of the lands. Disneyland is pretty big. Um, and for a little kid, it was a little overwhelming. She had to nap and everything like that. So it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed taking her and I definitely want to go again. Um, so that was really fun. And then within the last few weeks, a lot of stuff has been going crazy. Alaska actually dropped my phone in the pool. Um, thank God it kind of worked out. I took my mom's phone and, um, thank God for iCloud and my mom upgraded. So that kind of worked out very, very well. It could have been a really bad situation. Um, and Alaska last week, she got her elbow dislocated on accident. Apparently there's a name for it. It's called nursemaid's elbow. Basically like when the nursemaids yank kids around and their bones and muscles. Yeah, baby. Yeah. And when their muscles and bones aren't formed before they're like four to five, it's really easy for them to kind of just get out of place so we took her to the ER um, as soon as I found out I just rushed yeah, over there the and the doctor just literally came in and popped it right back into place but they didn't really tell us what to do or how to take care of it so luckily I do work for a chiropractic office and they did rock tape her Alaska can I see your rock tape so they did put rock tape on her elbow just to kind of hold it in place while it's still growing and healing so I really appreciated that but she's doing Doing good she's starting preschool in September um, so I'm really really excited but I'm also really sad because I know once she, once she starts preschool she's gonna be in school for the next two decades of her life probably um, so anyway I'm a little sentimental about that, but I think she's very, very excited to start school. She's extremely social. She gets along with other kids really, really well. Um, so I think she's going to have a grand, grand time. Oh, I think the other thing that's going... You scratch your toes? Sorry, baby. Um, so Instagram, I'm still doing Instagram. I love it. It's my main platform right now, even though I'm trying to switch over to YouTube. Um, I really don't like the new algorithm. Can we talk about that for a second? Does anyone else experience the same thing with me? I feel like with the new algorithm, you only see posts that, uh, people who have really big accounts and have a lot of following, you know, it's kind of like Facebook now. Um, only their friends or their close friends or people who comment on their stuff get to see their posts. And I feel like people who are trying to rise to the top, it's harder for their posts to gain exposure and therefore engagement. So I feel like it's just a little bit of an iffy situation, especially for beauty bloggers and makeup artists who are trying to get their posts out there. Um, and then there's the whole shadow ban situation, which you haven't, if you haven't heard about it, there are certain hashtags that if you use too much, um, on your page and posts, then Instagram shadow bans you and you don't show up on that hashtag at all when you use it. So I don't know all of the ins and outs about it. I just know that I've heard, you know, a lot of people complaining about it. And now I feel like it's starting to affect my engagement as well, which is a little frustrating. But um, I think that's just kind of how social media is in general. So so I'm really happy to be back on YouTube. I want to focus on that. Um, I want to focus on creating better videos for you guys. So please, as always, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know um, what kind of tutorials you want to see or just talking videos if there's specific advice that you would like to hear, um, my experiences through certain things, whether it's with Alaska or just myself or certain things that you know that I've gone through that you'd love me to talk about. Um, I would love to do that. I am an open book. I love sharing sharing everything that's going on in my life and I want you guys to know what's going on as well I feel like it's really hard to watch people who 
constantly. You see their face all the time, but you never know what's going on in their lives. And they don't share a lot, which I completely understand. It's important to keep certain things private. But I also want people to know if they're struggling with the same things that I am or have, that it's good to know you're not alone. And I try to be as genuine and as authentic and as open as possible, just so people feel more comfortable with sharing their emotions and their feelings and their struggles. And I think that's just really, really important to me. So to close, I just wanted to share that I've been doing good. Life's been really, really good. There's a lot of ups and downs and a lot of changes these past few weeks and that is going to come. But I feel like in general, I've been a lot less stressed. I wanted to kind of be in control of everything for a long, long time. And sometimes I still struggle with that, just not as much. I've learned to kind of let loose and have a little bit more fun, not in like a reckless or careless state, but more in a sense of not really worrying about what people think about my decisions or what I'm doing, but standing firm on what I'm believing in or what I believe in. And then also not apologizing for how I feel and really letting my voice shine, which I think is really, really important. I was really shy growing up. I never knew how to stand up for myself. And now that I'm raising a daughter, she's three, she's about to go into school. I want her to be able to have a very strong, prominent voice, but not only that, be confident in it. So be able to continue her sentences, even if someone's trying to interrupt her and to stand up when she feels like something is going on that doesn't seem right. And just letting, le me. yeah, baby. And just letting her little light shine. Um, so I'm trying to be a good example of that because I know that the best form of parenting is modeling. I can tell her something all day, but if I don't do it myself, it's not going to be ingrained in her mind at all when she's out in the real world. So that's something that I am working on. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my little life update. Um, I just wanted to come on here, make a quick little video and share with you guys. But as always, please let me know what kind of videos you want to see if there's any questions that you have for me leave leave it below maybe I'll do a question and answer so I can kind of hit specific things that you guys may want to know about me um and yeah that is pretty much it so I will catch you guys later thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys soon <laughs> bye Alaska do you want to say bye bye, bye. see you guys later blow kisses Look, is it? <laughs>